The FDA just approved its first prescription video game. Video games can be many different things. A way to relax, to hang out with friends, to experience immersive storytelling, to engage in professional competition, to experience art, the list goes on. But according to a new landmark decision by the United States Food and Drug Administration, we're now entering into an era where video games can be considered medical treatment. So move aside, laughter, because there's a new best medicine in town. This week, the FDA approved a video game to be marketed for use as Treatment for Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, or ADHD, as it's more commonly known, in children aged 8 through 12. However, if you want to get your hands on this particular game to use as a treatment tool, well, you're going to need a prescription from your doctor. The game in question is called Endeavor RX, and it was developed by Boston-based Achille Interactive Labs. Its purpose is to improve attention in kids with ADHD through daily gameplay that promotes concentration without it feeling like a chore. And if you're following along at home, that's Endeavor RX, meaning Endeavor Prescription. So clearly, they had a lot riding on this, even though the game was previously called Project Evo. According to a statement, Achille Interactive Labs CEO Eddie Martucci, PhD, said, we're proud to make history today with FDA's decision, with Endeavor RX for using technology to help treat a condition in an entirely new way, as we directly target neurological function through medicine that feels like entertainment. Now, the next step for Achille Interactive Labs is to launch the game. Currently, there's a waitlist for this iPhone and iPad game on Achille's website so they can comply with the FDA's COVID-19 safety measures. According to the FDA, Endeavor RX is meant to be used as a piece of a therapeutic treatment plan to increase attention in pediatric patients. So while video games might not be some sort of digital panacea just yet, this is still a groundbreaking decision because it's the first time the FDA has approved any sort of video game maker to market their game as a therapy tool. According to Dr. Jeffrey Shuren, director of the FDA Center for Devices and Radiological Health, the Endeavor RX device offers a non-drug option for improving symptoms associated with ADHD in children and is an important example of the growing field of digital therapy and digital therapeutics. The FDA is committed to providing regulatory pathways that enable patients timely access to safe and effective innovative digital therapeutics. And if you're a methodology nerd like some folks on our staff, looking at you, Producer Steven, you might be wondering how this game was appraised. Well, there were five different studies involving 600 children, including a randomized control study published in The Lancet, a prestigious peer-reviewed medical journal. Now, it is worth noting that Achille Labs may have funded one of these studies themselves. However, the results were enough to get the FDA on board for marketing approval, so just bear that in mind. According to these studies, attention was increased after just a month of playing the game as part of therapy, and gains remained for a month afterwards. Now, some side effects noted in these studies included frustration, headaches, dizziness, emotional reaction, nausea, or aggression, which... Yeah, I mean, let's be real. Those are the side effects of any video game out there. I mean, use voice chat in literally any multiplayer game and you'll know what I'm talking about. And while this may be the first video game or digital therapy that was approved by the FDA, it's certainly not going to be the last, especially when it comes to treatments and therapies for cognitive disorders. And honestly, it's about time they join the 21st century because we're not sure if they've noticed, but video games aren't going anywhere. But in the meantime, tell me, what do you folks think? Are prescription video games the wave of the future or just a fad? What kind of games do you find to be most therapeutic? And how soon are you going to call your parents to say, See, I told you video games don't rot your brain, mom. Anyway, let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. And if you'd like to get notified whenever we go live with a new show or drop a new video, hit that little bell down below and you'll be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world. And on a more serious note, if you'd like to learn more about how to educate yourself and get involved in the ongoing fight against police brutality and systemic racism, you can head to Nerdist.com where you have an ever-expanding array of articles and information on those subjects. In the meantime, stay safe, be healthy, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.